think that's unreal. I'm not just saying that for YouTube. Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'll be playing nine holes, keeping score, seeing what I shoot. Not with these golf clubs, but with these. These are my grandfather's old golf clubs. I've dug them out of the garage uh, along with this hat. If you know, you know, um, to see what I shoot. These are from about 1980, I believe. So uh, my golf might be questionable with these. The sweet spot is slightly smaller than my uh, Titleist driver. So um, let's see how we get on. A low necky fade, but it's gone straight. So I'll take it. Hey, what, surprisingly, that was better than I thought. Oh, no, get left. Ah, right. About a 40 footer here. Try and lag it up. Go, go. I'll clean her up. Solid four though, I'll take that. First hole with the 1980s clubs. <laughs> right, um, par five here, dog leg left. Again, quite surprising how good that felt on the first tee with the driver. Um, main thing is just make sure I hit out of that giant red spot. I think if I miss that, things could go pear shaped. I've absolutely nuked that. Oh my God. That's better than my normal driver. What's everyone complaining about this is hard using old clubs? It's easy. 184, okay. Right, so this would be a bonus if I can make this eagle. 20 footer, come on. Do it. I mean, it's an easy birdie, but thank you. So I thought I'd give a little bit of an introduction or backstory as to why I'm using, I guess, Jackie Stewart's golf clubs. Um, yes, he, he's my grandfather. Um, he used to play a lot of pro-ams back in the day. He's told me many stories. I think the AT&T, uh, the Pebble Beach one, uh, Dunhill Links and so on. So over the years, he's accumulated a lot of golf clubs, very good for my benefit, uh, as I've got access to a lot of his old cool clubs and stuff. Hence, I was looking in his garage the other day and I thought it'd be kind of an interesting thing to take them out, a little bit of a test drive, see how they perform. I've always seen them there, but I've never really used them. Um, and I thought today with it being sun out, perfect day, shoot it for all you guys that care or don't care. I don't know. So far, I'm one under par after two holes, which I'm surprised. I was kind of under the impression that this would be an absolute uh, excuse my language, show. I'd be kind of left, right, army golf. But yeah, overall, they feel great so far. I'm surprised with this driver. It feels really, really good off the face. Who knows, it might sneak its way into my bag at some point. What in the world is going on? No joke, I've just hit a frozen rope with that. I'm not that good, let me just say that. I'm, I'm an okay golfer, lower level pro, never made it as a top pro, but maybe I should just take it back up. If I can just use this the whole time, I just knock it round, go straighter than my Titleist. <laughs> so I've hit this drive, position A, I think I've probably hit it about 290 yards, uh, split the fairway, 185 yards in. Uh, I'm gonna try and hit a smooth six iron as it's slightly into wind. Oh, there's the first bad swing. Get right. Sit. Oh, that's miles down. First par test of the day. Ah. Oh. It's a bad bogey from the middle of the fairway. Right, fourth hole here, level par, after a silly bogey. Skyed it. Like a semi-sky though. Oh, I think that's unreal. 
I'm not just saying that for YouTube, I think that generally is unreal. <laughs> Okay, time to focus up. Let's see what I can do here. Up the slope, then down the slope. I've hit an absolute worldie to get here, by the way. Right. Come on. Go right. What? How good was that? People are gonna think that's fake. That's real, I swear to God. What a freaking putt. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> right, I just want to show you guys a little bit of what I'm looking down at here on the golf club. This driver is about the size of a three wood. You've got the nice red square kind of, so when you really got to focus on your sweets, but I actually visually don't mind that look. Overall, I think the club's performing really, really well. If you slightly miss hit it, yes, you'll get punished. You have to really make sure you're hitting it out of this red part here. But for the most part, it's gonna punish bad shots, it's gonna reward good shots like any good golf club does. They're a lot better than I thought and honestly, extremely fun to play with. Little Healy, high fade. Yeah, it'll be okay. Get left. Right on it. This is one of those tricky putts where it looks like it should go one way, but in the back of your mind, you kind of know it doesn't go that way. Oh my God. What is going on? <laughs> I'm rolling this uh, putter. Feels really good. Usually I hate blades. A little bit right, get left. It'll leave a long putt. Go. Oh, I'll tell you what, I probably had that. Was it a little bit harder. Right, the famous seventh hole here. So anyone that's played Woburn, uh, the Marquis course specifically, uh, will know this hole. If you look down there, Ben, you can go left or right. Now, I would say, yeah, if you're good enough to pick a spot, personally for me, my strategy has always been aim down the middle and hope for the best, um, which I'm a bit ashamed to say since a pro golfer. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Today I'm gonna be a little more greedy and try and go down the right because we're on YouTube and you know, only the best for you guys. Right, but yeah, down the right here, driver, trying to hit it about 265 yards. Oh my God, I've hit that so good. Sit down, sit. I think I've hit that like too well. What a shot. Oh, I'm absolutely perfect. That is A1. Okay, now I just can't mess it up from here because this is literally the perfect position. Come on, Lucas, I'm get another birdie. Let's go. Go, go. I'll take it. A little bit short the pin, but I'll take it. And look at this place, it's a joke. Woburn like, I mean Woburn Golf Club in my opinion is probably the best golf course in the UK, especially the Marquis. This is their championship golf course here. It's about 25 degrees. You cannot get better golfing conditions than this. Didn't turn, oh. Yeah, I guess an easy birdie then. Three under. It's got miles. First kind of real challenge today, hit a six iron. Honestly, I can't believe it. 181 to the pin. So I've carried this about easy 200 yards. Um, and I didn't think that these irons would go that far. But nevertheless, I'm thinking little lob wedge here, just to try and throw it onto the down slope and let it just release to the pin. The lie is okay. Just got to get this landing, hopefully just on the green. Or, I mean, it depends. I'm gonna stop talking, just hit it. <laughs> Go.
Ah, chunked it, got away with it a little bit. We'll take it. That's a good par save. Very good par save. Get in the boy. So overall impressions on the ninth hole now, the last hole, I'm three under par. Um, this challenge has not gone quite as I, I expected. I was kind of thinking it'd be a bit of a car crash and it would be entertaining because it would be a car crash, but actually I'm playing quite well, which is nice for my golf, probably not so nice for you guys watching. The clubs in general have been feeling really, really nice. I mean, playing today, the conditions have been perfect. I'm not gonna lie, there's not a breath of wind in the air. Um, there's not a cloud in the sky. It's a perfect temperature. So yes, these are ideal scoring conditions. But then again, I'm more than happy being three under par. I've been thinking about this club the whole day the two iron, I love a two iron, and this thing has been looking at me the whole day, I haven't hit it yet, so this will be my first shot with it. I am uh, very much looking forward to giving this a whack. See if I can just pump something down there, kind of middle left half of the fairway, give myself a good chance of making a, maybe easy four, maybe a birdie, but I'll take a four. Oh, it was better than I thought it would be. That's pure, a low flight, Struck it lovely. I'm in love with these clubs. Oh, be good. Be good. So guys, I've got this, uh, I'm gonna call it a knee knocker because I'm probably a bit nervous for that. Um, three footer for four under uh, with the old clubs. That is way more than I bargained for. Um, today's been so much fun. Probably one of the most, the funnest rounds I've, uh, I've had doing these YouTube videos. Obviously I'm playing well, but weather-wise, conditions-wise, watch me miss this part now. I'm like, I hate this round, I suck at golf. No, but it's been great, I've had a lot of fun. I hope you guys have, uh, have enjoyed it as much as I have. More of this to come. Um, hopefully I can just knock in this, uh, this birdie putt. You know what, I'm gonna take the pin out. Knock in this birdie putt, four under. Just like that. Four under par. One of my better rounds of golf as of late. Um, buzzing with that, honestly. Absolutely buzzing. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. This has been a really, really fun round of golf. Guys, as I say every week, follow for more, like, subscribe, all that jazz. It helps, apparently. Weekly videos, challenges. If anyone actually wants to come on this challenge with me and uh, give me a match, I'll take it, let's go. I'll take anyone that I can get. It'll be interesting regardless of the outcome. I feel like I've set the bar here quite high. People thinking that I'm gonna do this every week. Probably not gonna happen, but we'll, um, we'll try our best. Thanks guys, see you soon.